parts of the area are cleaning up from storm damage. Thousands of homes are still without power tonight. Fox News Mallory Thomas is live now with a look at the damage and an update on those outages. Mallory. Hey, Mandy. Well, Ameren website is still showing that there is widespread outages. It shows that over here in Missouri, there's just under a thousand people that are without power and over in Illinois, they still have about 150,000 that are still in the dark tonight. Dark and ominous clouds in Illinois bringing 60 mile per hour winds and heavy downpours of rain. Some of the heaviest water I've seen in a while. Yep, coming into town, it'd go from, you know, 25 feet of visibility to the wind would gust and you couldn't see it past the hood of the trucks. We showed you earlier as the storm made its way through Litchfield and Girard. Our extreme weather specialist Chris Higgins showing broken tree limbs and strong winds uprooting trees. And you can see this grass here typically obviously it's on the ground, but now it's at a 90 degree angle pulled up as this tree blew over. Let's go to the other side. Just amazing to see the size of this root ball on this tree. I know there's trees and everything from here all the way to Standard City, Nilwood, the whole nine yards. Trees are blocking roads sitting on top of cars and roofs across the area. Will Christopher with Gerard Fire Department says the storm left a big debris path. It went from zero to 100 really, really quick. Um, I was sitting in my house and all of a sudden it looked like there was a tornado outside, although there was not. Neighbors are already helping each other out with the cleanup efforts. And Gerard is like I said, it's it's all torn up, but it, it was definitely something scary, especially for a lot of people in town. Um, like I said, it kind of hit out of nowhere and nobody really knows what this wet stuff coming out of the sky is anymore. We haven't had any for a while. The potential of more severe weather on the way. Make sure that you download the free Fox 2 weather app live in Maryland Heights. Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.